everyone, my name's Janelle and welcome back to Rosary Apparel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing everything that I made for my wardrobe during 2021. I cannot begin to explain to you how satisfying it is to put this video together and to see everything that I made in one year nicely on one rack like this. I think all up there is about 30 pieces that I managed to make for my wardrobe this year, which to some people might seem quite excessive, but making clothes is my hobby and I'm in the lucky and privileged position to be able to make clothes as a full-time job and at the same time teach other people to make their own clothes as well, which honestly is the most fulfilling thing ever. And pretty much every item I'm sharing in this video has a tutorial to go along with it. So if you'd like to make any of these items for your own wardrobe, then I'll have a whole chunky list down in the description of this video if you'd like to go and check that out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it and let me show you everything that I made for my wardrobe this year. We may as well start with the dress I'm wearing, which is actually a pattern hack of my Rosa sewing pattern. I basically just changed the waistline to be a little bit higher and a little bit looser fitting and I also pattern hacked my willow pattern to create these really cute elasticated sleeves. I'm sure you'll notice that I have quite a number of items in this burnt orange shade and that is because it's my favorite color of all time to wear. I just feel most myself in this color and I'm always drawn to fabrics in these kind of autumnal shades. I've actually made two other dresses exactly like this and I like to call them my perfect everyday dress just because I pretty much wear them every single day. The next dress I have is another variation of my Rosa pattern. This dress has been made out of some beautiful gingham linen fabric from the fabric store. It is such good quality and perfect for the warmer months because it's so lightweight and breathable and this particular dress is really like loose fitting. I tried to make it so it would hardly touch my body um, that way I can wear it on those really hot days in summer. This next dress is exactly the same as the one I just showed you but this one has been made from a vintage bed sheet. It's just this really beautiful retro kind of floral print and I remember I picked this bed sheet up for like two dollars or something it was really really cheap. Next I have this beautiful blouse that I made from a vintage tablecloth. The tablecloth itself has this really beautiful embroidered print all over it including this lovely scalloped border so I tried to highlight the print and the scalloped edge as much as possible in this blouse. Next I have the first knitting piece that I made for my wardrobe and that is this quite chunky cardigan. The pattern is called the Aosta cardigan by the Knit Pearl Girl. Um, I'll leave that link below if you'd like to make one of these for yourself. And I decided to make mine out of this lovely cream yarn and this cardigan just goes with so many items in my wardrobe. I love wearing it with all of my dresses in the colder months but it also looks really great with just a t-shirt and jeans as well. This next item is one I am so so proud of. What I love about this dress is the fact it has a shared bodice, like fully shared bodice, but the sharing has been done in like a sort of pattern, which creates a really interesting feature to this dress. And if that wasn't amazing enough, then it also has these lovely tie up sleeves. It also has a ruffled hem, which is just so, so beautiful. It definitely has very cottage core vibes and I'm absolutely in love with it. I was super proud to bring out two new rosary apparel sewing patterns this year. And one of the sewing patterns is this dress here, which is called the Daisy dress. It's this lovely V-neck button up dress. And I could not be happier with how this pattern has turned out. It is basically my dream button up dress. As you can see, I made this version of the Daisy out of the same fabric as this dress here. It's actually a beautiful 90s fabric that was kindly sent to me by a viewer from Sweden. And I just feel so lucky because it's the most beautiful cotton fabric. The Daisy dress comes with three versions and one of the versions is also this dress here. This is the sleeveless version and it's also got a fully lined bodice as well. Something I love about the daisy dress is that it's easy to customize so this one is also the shorter length. Next I have this lovely milkmaid style dress. This dress has been made out of just five rectangles of fabric which I think is really fun. Sometimes people were completely overwhelmed where to start when making dresses so this is definitely a good option because you don't have to worry about piecing together really complicated shapes. It's literally five rectangles so I feel like anyone can make this dress. Next I have my only kind of jacket that I've made this year and that is this Alexa Chung inspired jacket. Basically Alexa Chung brought out a mustard trench coat and the coat has this amazing gingham collar 
And so I decided to have a go at making a jacket inspired by that coat. And I made mine out of this lovely mustard cord fabric and then lined the entire thing out of gingham linen fabric. So you've got the little pop of gingham at the cuffs as well as the collar, which I just think is adorable. Next, I have one of my favorite items that I've made this year, and that is my popcorn cardigan. I was very inspired by the brand Misha and Puff. Just looking at it, you can probably tell the amount of work that went into this. It took me a good six months to make and I wore this cardigan pretty much every day during winter. It is just such a fun item to wear. And the other pattern I brought out this year is my Hannah wrap skirt pattern, of which this is, there we go, one of the versions. As you can see, I made this wrap skirt out of the same fabric as this dress I'm wearing. And I love this little wrap skirt pattern so much. I will show you the other versions of this pattern in a second, um, but yeah, it's just such a fun one. And I'm really excited for some beach days so I can wear this over the top of my bikini because you can just kind of wrap it around you. Here is another version of the Hannah wrap skirt, but this one is the midi version. Again, my Hannah pattern is very easy to customize and you can make a midi version like this as well. Another skirt I added to my wardrobe this year is this adorable cord mini skirt. I actually pattern hacked my Hannah wrap skirt to make this skirt and I'm so happy with how it turned out. This is basically my dream cord skirt and I feel like it's filled such a gap in my wardrobe. And I also added these adorable pockets at the front which I just think make it look so professional and yeah, just overall very happy with this make. Next, I have this amazing puffy sleeve blouse. This blouse is another pattern hack of my Rosa pattern. So instead of making the Rosa dress, I just made a blouse version. Um, it also has this adorable keyhole detail at the back with a little tie. I feel like the puffy sleeves really add like a kind of statement to any outfit. Next up, I have another corduroy number. This one here is a stunning burnt orange corduroy dress. It is basically the dream winter dress. I was very inspired by a brand called Joanna Sands, the label. And unfortunately, by the time I discovered them, they were completely sold out of this amazing dress. Um, so I decided to have a go at making one for myself. It is just such a like warm, wintry dress to wear. And I love pairing this dress with my chunky Doc Martin boots. Next up, I have this dress here. I actually made this dress from a vintage pattern. And while it's on its hanger, I feel like it looks great. Like I'd be drawn to this if it was in a shop. But as soon as I put it on, I just don't love it. I'm really upset about it because I was so excited about this dress. I had a real clear vision in my mind how it would look and it just, yeah, didn't turn out how I'd hoped. So I'm going to see if I can like salvage the fabric or change it up a little bit to suit me a little bit better. Next, I have another puffy sleeve blouse. And what makes this blouse a little bit special is the fact that it has a ruffled neckline and also some cute ruffles along the sleeve as well. Again, it just adds kind of a little bit of an interesting feature to the blouse and also kind of creates a statement outfit when I wear it. I love items of clothing that just have a little bit of an interesting detail to them. Next I have a beautiful gingham dress. This one I made using the pattern McCall's 7974 and ultimately when I set out to make this dress I wanted to create my dream picnic dress and I'm very happy to say that I think I managed to achieve that. What I love about this dress is not only the beautiful paprika shade of gingham that it's made from but also the length of it. It's an oversized midi dress, so it's not quite maxi length, but it's definitely longer than midi length as well. It's also got these adorable tie up sleeves, which I love so much. And yeah, I basically think this dress is the perfect summer dress. And yeah, I feel very lucky to add this one to my wardrobe this year. Next, I have two more of the Hannah wrap skirt versions. This one here is basically the classic wrap skirt. Very simple, kind of straight edges, like a rectangle of fabric that you can wrap around yourself. And this lovely gingham number has a beautiful ruffle all along the hem. So as you can see, it goes all the way around the back as well. And it's just such a like flowy and fun piece to wear. Again, both of these are just gonna be so perfect to wear during summer and I'm so excited about it. Next, I have another 
dress that I made with a vintage pattern. This dress has so many lovely features. It has this beautiful kind of pin tuck detailing at the front and it also has some shared puffy sleeves as well as a little bit of sharing in the waist to kind of cinch it in as well. And it was such a fun pattern to make. It has just made the most stunning dress Oh, I'm just obsessed with this dress. I love wearing it. It is so comfy to wear. And yeah, I feel like this is going to be a staple in my wardrobe for many, many years to come. Next, I have another Hannah wrap skirt pattern hack. And this time I kind of used the pattern to make this lovely midi skirt with a side slit. This one again is perfect for summer. I have to admit, I haven't worn it much because I made it during winter, but now that summer is here, I'm so excited to wear this. This year, I definitely branched out and got really obsessed with the color green. Um, I've never really been drawn to green before, but I was just really drawn to it this year. And as you'll see in a minute, I've added quite a number of green items to my wardrobe. This next dress is another version of my Daisy dress, but this one has these lovely elasticated puffy sleeves. Honestly, I could not love this dress more. I've hardly taken it off since I made it. It's made from the most lovely broderie anglaise fabric. Again, in the most stunning green color. Um, I'll put some close-ups of this fabric in now because oh, it is just so stunning. So I was super happy to make one of my beloved daisy dresses out of this fabric. This dress is another version of my everyday perfect dress, like the one I'm wearing, but this one's made out of a really interesting textured seersucker type fabric. These are the exact same dress, but because of the texture of this one, it definitely makes it look really different and unlike kind of any dress I've ever seen before. Next up, I have this incredible layered gathered dress. The neckline of this dress has some elastic in it, so it kind of like gathers up around the neckline, which is something so unusual. And it also has these adorable gathered elasticated sleeves as well. And then if that wasn't enough gathering, then it also has a two-tiered skirt, again, that have both been gathered to create the ultimate gathered dress. The next dress is this stunning shared tiered dress. What I love about this dress is it has so many sharing details. As you can see, the cuffs are like shared to like the middle of your forearm, which creates a really amazing statement sleeve and there's also sharing in the bust and then in all of the layers of the skirt as well. And I was heavily inspired by the brand Steel. Um, I think Steel is an Australian label and they make the most stunning statement pieces. And again, I feel super lucky to have added this dress to my wardrobe this year. This next dress I also made from the same pattern that I made this dress from, but this one, for some reason, has just turned out so much better. This one, I actually changed up the sleeves a little bit and added a puffy shirt sleeve. And I also made this one out of some vintage fabric as well, which I don't know, just makes it so, so beautiful and special. And yeah, I'm sad that the longer maxi length version just didn't turn out quite as nice as this one. I honestly thought the longer version would be way more my style, but yeah, I'm happy that at least one of the dresses I made with that pattern has worked out nicely. <laughs> Next, I have another dress that I made with a vintage pattern, and that is this stunning Laura Ashley McCall's pattern. The pattern itself is McCall's 4319, and I can't believe how much I love this dress. I made this dress out of some secondhand gingham fabric, and it's also got a little bit of a seersucker texture to it as well. I love the long, puffy sleeves of this dress, but what I love most about this dress is this dipped waistline here. I think people were telling me in the comments it's called a basque waist. Whatever it's called, I'm obsessed with it. I think it is incredible. And again, I shared the whole making process of this dress in a video. Next up, I have another one of my oversized Rosa dresses. This one has been made out of a lovely gray cheesecloth fabric. Um, so again, it's really like breathable and perfect for summer. I actually made all three of these dresses on the same day. So it's the exact same dress, just three different fabrics. And I'm just so happy that it's summertime again here in Australia, so I can start to wear these dresses again. Next, I have the third perfect everyday dress that I made. And this one is made out of a classic black and white gingham fabric. I only just recently made this dress just because I wear this orange one and the green one I showed so often that they're often in the wash when I wanna wear them. So I thought I definitely need a third one. And I'm glad I made it out of this classic gingham because 
Yeah, gingham is one of my favorite prints to wear and I feel like it will go with everything. And I think paired with my popcorn cardigan, oh my goodness, I can't wait for the colder months just so I can wear these two together. And then the last item I made for my wardrobe this year is this stunning gingham gathered skirt. I basically bought a skirt in Kyoto when I was last there and decided I needed to have a go at replicating it to add another one to my wardrobe. And I made this skirt out of the most lovely gingham linen fabric. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. And a lot of you have been making this skirt as well and it is so fun to see your versions of it. And I'm just so glad you love the tutorial and this style of skirt as much as I do. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I made for my wardrobe during 2021. I would love to know in the comments below which item is your favorite. I. I personally cannot choose just one favorite, but I thought I'd see if I could pick my top three. Definitely one of my favorites is this popcorn cardigan. I'm just so, so proud of this piece and can't believe I made it myself. I think I have to say the second piece is this dress here, my daisy dress, out of the beautiful eucalyptus broderie on glaze fabric. It is just such a stunning dress and it is my dream button up dress. I am so, so happy with how this one turned out and definitely one of my favorites for sure. My third favorite make from 2021, I think is actually this vintage dress here. It has so many amazing features and the fabric is just one of the most dreamiest fabrics I've ever sewn with. And yeah, I just can't quite believe I made this dress myself. Again, don't forget to go check out the big list of videos down in the description below if you did want to make any of these items for yourself. And if you did enjoy this video, then maybe consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more sewing type videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.